Welcome to this video where we're going to have a look at something known as the impact parameter. So for a transiting exoplanet, there's something known as the impact parameter, which relates to the inclination of the orbit compared to how we're actually looking at it and how it's discovered. So as we're probably aware, a transiting exoplanet is discovered when it passes in front of the star. You then get this characteristic dip in brightness as it blocks some of the light from the star. And that is how these transiting exoplanets are discovered. It's a fairly straightforward method, but the inclination of that orbit of that planet can alter the transit shape. I'm going to have a look at that and why it alters the shape. So if we're looking from Earth or from some reference point where we're taking the measurement, the orbit of the planet is going to have some inclination. Now, it's got to be edge on enough that it actually passes in front of the star as we look at it, but we don't necessarily know exactly what the inclination is. It might have some angle to it. Now, as we're looking at it, that means that the planet itself can pass across any part of the star, really. So it can pa pass across the centre, the middle, or more towards the edge. Now, the impact parameter is something that then denotes the, kind of the position on the star that is actually going to pass across. So the impact parameter B will be zero if the planet passes across the middle of the star, and then it will go to one right towards the edge. So between zero and one, it's passing somewhere across the star. So this is our impact parameter. Now the impact parameter will change the shape of the transit that we actually measure. So across the center, you get the characteristic U-shape dip in brightness. So when B is zero, you get this U-shape. But as you go more towards the outer edge of the limb, you end up with a more V-shape. So you can see by the two transits there on the right, that the shape is distinctly different depending on where it transits across the star. So the transit time is going to be less if it's towards the edge, and that should make sense. If the planet is moving at the same speed as it passes across, if it passes across the edge, there's obviously less of the star to travel across. So the, the time it takes or the transit time is going to be less than if it passed across the centre. It's also more V-shaped. Now the reason for that is as it's towards the edge, the planet only just passes across to the star and then back out again straight away. So with the one that's going across the middle, because it's passing across a larger part of the star, you get a bit of a flatter bottom. So you basically get the, the ingress and the egress, but between that, is passing across more of the stars, so you get a flatter bottom, which creates the U. So the shape is distinctly different between the edge and the middle. It's also shallower. So if it transits across the edge, the overall dip in brightness that it causes is less. Uh, that is down to limb darkening. So if it passes across the center, that's going to block out the most light in total compared to towards the edge. Now the limb darkening is that as we look at a star, the outer edge of the limb appears dimmer than in the center. So as the planet passes across the center, it's going to basically pass across the brighter region of the star. Therefore, you block out more light, you get a, a deeper transit. If it passes across the limb or more towards the edge, then it's dimmer anyway. So it has less impact on the overall brightness of the star. So that is what can alter the transit shape of a exoplanet that passes in front of the star. And it's mostly down to the inclination and where it then passes in front of the star. So thank you for watching. And if you enjoy, then you can check out some of the other videos.